hello friends so in this video we are going to talk about how you can send a periodic message using gapper script so the first thing what you need to do is you need to add your database into your simulation setup so i'll just go to simulation setup and in the database i'll add my database so i've added my database here then i'll go to tools and i'll open my capital browser so as you can see your capital browser is open and we just need to do editing of one file so in the variables we will define our variables i will not be explaining you how to write a kappa script but i will be explaining you how you can send a message periodically so the first thing i am defining here in the variables is millisecond timer that is of 100 milliseconds and then i will take a message ems5 which is from the database and i will create a analyze of that message as eng so after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to implement uh, on timer for this timer variable so which will be here in the system right click on it and then just click on on timer so we want to implement on timer for millisecond 100 ms 100 so here i'll be declaring the on timer then after i'll just output the message the message will be eng so before that what we have to do is we have to set the direction of the message which we can set in this on start method so in the on start method what we will do is we will select the can network on which can network we need to send the message that is can one and the direction of the message that is equal to tx as we are transmitting the message so it will be tx and then we need to decide if it is a rtr or not so it is not an rtr frame that is remote transmission request is not there in this message so i'll be keeping it as zero so this is the basic thing what you need to do before uh, sending any message and then after what you need to do is you have to give a key that is on key i'm giving key as a so this method also you can implement using this uh, event handler from the key that is on key here but um i have done it manually so after that you need to set up some things for this message that is some current year or something like that so that i'm setting it to 10 and whatever setting you need to do is you need to do here on the on key and then after what you need to do is you need to set the timer so this setting set timer function will start the timer and also will be setting the timer to whatever value you give it to so i'm setting this timer ms timer ms 100 and i'm setting it to 100 milliseconds so as this variable is of millisecond timer so i'll be giving the time in milliseconds here and then after on key press a what will happen is this engine message and that engine message this signal will be set to 10 then after this set timer function we start the timer of this uh, variable that is ms100 variable 200 milliseconds and then after what will happen whenever this timer expires this message will be sent to the can one but this will happen only once when you press the key one key a we need to send this message periodically after each 100 milliseconds so that you can do on this timer uh, event itself so if you set the timer again in the timer expiration to the same value that is 100 milliseconds so in this case what will happen is on key press a this signal will be set this value will be set to this message and then this timer will start to 100 milliseconds and after expiration of this timer this message will be sent to the can network and then again this set timer will be called and then again this timer starts 200 milliseconds and on the expiration of timer this mess this on timer will be called and again the message will be sent to the can network and the same thing will repeat and repeat periodically after each 100 milliseconds so this is how you can send a message periodically into your can network using set timer
method so in the next video we'll see some other examples of the cable script thank you for watching